Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to uh, keep working on trying to get our ship repaired. I've already spent um, quite a bit of time off camera and have made some progress. So we've opened up a lot of these slots here. Uh, but what's left is uh, a pug man. So that means we're going to have to engage some sentinels to get that. Um, everything that requires like chromatic metal or platinum or wire looms, I've already repaired all of that stuff. Uh, so we just need pugnium for these things and I haven't, I don't know how we're going to get activated copper. We probably aren't until we can get a higher level, um, refiner. Um, so we got that to do, uh, chlorine. I don't know where we get chlorine. In fact, uh, I never actually looked in the store here to see if these guys have chlorine for sale. I wasn't paying attention for it. So let's look at that real quick. No, nope, no chlorine for sale. Um, they have more chromatic metal. Yeah, everything reset because it's actually the next day in real life for me. So it's possible maybe though that one of the the pilots might have chlorine. Let's take a quick look see. We can also look at their ships too. Offer to trade. He's got ammonia, but chlorine's what we what we're actually interested in. Let's take a look at his ship. He's got a B class ship. Uh, we could do a straight across trade for it if we wanted to. Shield strength is thirty percent versus twenty six percent. Hmm. Okay, so this is a freighter, a tech cargo type ship. The shields are a lot weaker, the hyperdrive range is less, and the maneuverability is a little bit better. It has 32 cargo slots versus 54 in ours. Yeah, no, it's not, um, it's not better than our ship. Okay, is that, I guess that's the only one that, that's around at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing something very risky. Thinking about going out and getting some more gold. Because we still need gold for something, I can't remember what it was. And if we get in trouble, we just call the anomaly to us. <laughs> I mean, because we, we cannot, you know, we just can't use this ship to fight the enemies that, c that come after us, and we can't get away from them either. I wonder if, um, you know, the other thing we could do, if we wanted to be a wuss, is we could just give in to their demands and give them what they want, um, but that goes against my nature, to be honest with you. Uh, let's take a look and see what he's trading. Offer a trade. doesn't have any chlorine. That's kind of what we're looking for at the moment. Or gold either. Alright, let's take a look at a ship just for funsies. Okay, this is an A-class hauler. Does about the same damage as ours. About the same shield strength. A little bit better hyperdrive range and about the same maneuverability. But we'd have to come up with 16 million credits to get it, and uh, yeah, we're, we're just not in a position to do that at this point. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. Okay, what I want to do is, let's get back in here for a minute. And something needs gold. Okay, this exploded panel needs gold. And not very, you know, we wouldn't have to spend too much time out there. We could get that repaired. I think everything that needed uh, paraffinium has been repaired. Oh, and we need to make a bunch of antimatter, but I'm going to have to go farm up quite a bit more chromatic metal uh, to do that, unless we wanted to just buy it. Uh, that's going to be expensive, though. Okay, well, 
let's um let's tr let's try my little uh idea here did we not scan that planet yeah we did the scan d didn't seem to uh stick oh you know what else we could maybe do to make this even safer is let's call the anomaly right here okay so he's close by and we should have plenty of time to dock with the anomaly if we get in trouble okay so yeah um let's let's mine up some more gold uh, enough to fix that one piece and then we'll decide what our next move is I don't know if these rocks are oh, already all right screw you man you're not getting me <laughs> and off we go <laughs> that, work, that works out pretty good you guys Okay, let's go get some more gold. What's that? Anomaly detector, new item recorded, the catalog. I don't, I don't even know what that was. Okay, so what I want to do is, are there specific asteroids here that have gold or is it all random? So let's shoot this little kind of smaller black one first. Okay, what do we get for that? We got tritium hypercluster. All right, let's shoot another black one. We only got tritium. Okay, try it again. Let's do one more. Oh, we got a gold nugget out of that black one. Okay. got tritium out of that so definitely tritium is the main thing you're gonna get out of these black ones got silver out of that one shoot that little feller there yeah it's it seems to me like it might be just completely random. Let's try... Okay, let's try these larger, golder-looking ones. Okay, we got a gold nugget out of that one. We got silver out of that one. Tritium hypercluster. about these yeah I I I think it's random you guys I'm not seeing any evidence oh well we got gold onto that one but I'm not seeing any hard evidence that one particular type of these roids is giving us something consistent Well, that being the case, then let's just go around and blast the crap out of everything. It's kind of fun to do that anyway. <laughs> I don't want to get too far away from the anomaly, though. Uh, speaking of which, where is it? Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Okay, here. Let's actually pulse to it. Screw you, man. I'm not giving you my stuff. They're trying to get my platinum. Okay. 
Uh, we have 19 gold there and two nuggets. Let's open the nuggets. Ooh, wow, 128 gold. Nice. Okay, so that's enough to repair this exploded panel. And that takes care of that. Okay, so we've opened up another slot there. Beautiful. Okay, so now um, I'm, I'm going to need to go farm up a whole bunch of chromatic metal so that I can make a whole bunch of antimatter because we need it for both fuel for our hyperdrive, but we also, a lot of these... Oh, that's that thing we just found. We'll look at that in a second. There's a few things that require antimatter, yeah, like this, and not just one, but three. Is it... Okay, yeah, that one requires three, so that one requires three. So it looks like we need six antimatter just to finish repairing those items, and then we're going to need more, of course, to make warp fuel. Okay. So what I think we'll do then is this Jirak Sigma is a swamp planet, and... I don't. I, I can't remember if we were, if we were taking um, environmental damage here or not. But even if it, if we were, it's probably like, um, you know, toxic, and we have that toxic, really good toxic shield thingy. Uh, so I think we'll go back here. This has aggressive sentinels, and this is a really hot planet. In fact, I already spent a bunch of time down here because I needed pyrite, and this planet sucks. I don't like it at all. Uh, volcanoes erupt, and fireballs land all over, and there, it's just not good. So, I think what we'll do... How are these planets here unknown? I've kind of sworn I've scanned all of this. Well, maybe what we ought to do is go scan those planets first. Because, uh, you know, if one of them happens to have chlorine, that, that's the one element that this system doesn't have. Well, the, the planets that are, are in my database, I should say, doesn't have. Okay, so that's copper, pyrite, and sodium. Um, this is a frozen planet with copper dioxide and salt. We already have uh, dioxide, don't we? Yeah, we do. I think we bought that, actually. All right. Um, See what this planet has. It's like the game forgot I scanned these or something, or maybe I, maybe I didn't, and I just thought I did. I can't remember. That has phosphorus, uh, which we should have some phosphorus too, right? Yeah, we have a little bit of phosphorus. Uh, what are these little star? Roids give us just out of curiosity. Oh, those are platinum roids. Ooh. Oh no, okay, that was a gold roid. Okay, so these these star types of roids definitely have the higher end stuff in them. Yeah, gold and platinum. Cool. All right, well, we don't need any more gold and platinum at the moment, though. What does that one have? Oh, that's just more tritium. So, why don't we... We probably... Yeah, we've got a crap ton of tritium. Oh, what's this? Search for a rare deep space object. Object is searching for its host. Searching. I don't even know what that... What just happened? Anomaly detector activated. Activate the pulse drive to assist its search. Um... Okay. Detecting nearby stellar anomalies. Probing wavelength. Okay. 
slow down to intercept the sender. Distress frequency. Well, there, why does that have a pirate on it? Abandoned vessel? Really? Um, oh. Communicator. Gazette, reject their lies. Gazette, follow us to freedom. Gazette. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over, an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. Accept the coordinates. I shut down my receiver and the input coordinates to my starship's navigation systems. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. Under a rebel star, reach the mark coordinates. So we can't, like, actually take that ship? Against the red machine. So this is like a separate, like, uh, yeah, okay, it's a secondary quest line. Interesting. Okay, well, that's something we can maybe pursue later. Um, but we're, you know, we got to get our ship fixed. We're not, still not at 100%. Okay, so have we scanned that planet? Yeah, and that's the dioxide planet. That's the copper pyrite sodium planet. This is the whatever planet. Am I not close enough to it? All right, let's let's pulse drive to it. There we go. All right, that's the one that has the the phosphorus, which we don't really need. Okay, let's look here again. It still shows two unknown planets and one unknown moon. That can't be right. Oh, you know why they're showing unknown? Because we haven't landed on them. That's right. Okay. I forgot about that. You have to actually land on them for you to actually discover them. It, the scan doesn't count as a discovery. That makes sense now. Okay, I was a little confused. So I think we're going to go to um, Jiraksh Sigma. And um, we're going to uh, farm up a bunch of copper in particular so that we can then make the antimatter to do the other repairs and make the additional copper rusted metal sodium. Um, and, you know, make the additional um, hyper drive cells. That we need. I think that's it right there. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Did we check that? I think that's a moon. Maybe these are both moons, actually. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, I think we have two moons here. Okay, let's stop and scan this, this moon. get out of this asteroid field. Why isn't that registering? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, right, that's the swamp place. That's, what, that's our destination, but I don't know, did we scan this place here? Let's head over here. I'd like to find a planet with some chlorine on it. Copper, pyrite, and silver. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. Alright. Can we see that other moon from here? I think we're going to have to go this way. down and aim towards it. 
Object of interest detected. Exit pulse to examine. Uh, okay. Trade envoy something or other. The trader examines my cargo data. They try to appear calm, but they do a poor job. They cannot hide just how keen they are to do a deal. Examine cargo manifest. So he wants to trade with me? Gek relic, Gek nip, defense chit, a token entitling the bearer to support from the system authorities in dealing with pirate attacks. Interesting, okay. I hope they can shoot better than the guy that was escorting us. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, this is all he has, and I don't really need any of that stuff. Um, you know what, though? We could sell him some things. I've got a whole bunch of, um... Let's go to our, um, ship. Let's sell, sell some of this tritium. We have so, so much of it. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna sell... all of it. And the reason being is because I have a whole bunch of those nodes that we can just crack open. And this will clear up two or three spaces in our inventory. Yeah, we got all these hyper clusters here. We don't need any more gold at the moment, so we could just sell that to him. Why don't we do that? Okay. Don't think we want to sell anything else to him. Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, now, where's our planet? We're all turned around, uh, right here. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> We're here. Uh, all right, guys. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just locate some, some copper deposits and just mine a crap ton of copper. Oh, you know what? I didn't tell you guys this. Um, when I was doing my... Um, offline stuff I I created I, I made the um, the advanced uh, what's call it yeah the advanced mining laser so we made that I can't remember what it needed it needed like chromatic metal a wiring loom and something else but anyway I, I farmed up all the stuff to do that so now we have the advanced mining laser uh, okay I will bring you guys back with an update here in a little while outpost here so let's go ahead and land and we'll see what they got inside okay this is just a c-class weapon <coughs> um actually does a little more damage and has a little more range than our, our current C-Class weapon, but it would cost us 2.2 million to exchange it, so it's not enough of an upgrade to to be significant. All right, let's talk to this guy. He seems to be upset about something. 
They reach down with their beak and dejectedly peck at their equipment. Their exosuit is falling apart at the seams and appears to be growing moss. They are ill-equipped to venture outside. Uh, sodium for that. The relieved trader emits a gas packet. The air around me smells of hope. Okay. Uh, the life form recharges their suit power cells and rewards me. What do we get? Uh, well, we got standing. The, the other thing I think is like fertilizer for gardens, which doesn't do us a bit of good right at the moment. Okay, let's see. I want to look at your... Let's look at your boob, uh, blueprints. Lattice barrel ionizer bolt caster upgrade. It's a B level. Less recoil. Burst cooldown. And one more shot per burst. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible, I suppose. Okay. What, I gotta figure out how to back out of that menu without having to back all the way out. Pleasure to something, friend. See, we're starting to we're starting to learn a little bit more of their language. Wiring loom, amino chamber. You happen to have any chlorine? Nope, that's all he's got. Okay. Is there anything we want to sell to him? We have quite a bit of copper. Um, and uh, we also have. Um, here, let's sell that. I don't want that right now. Uh, we also have in the Starship 513 chromatic metal that I made up. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do is get some nanites from there. And there's some data, navigation data. Let's go out here and go to the thingy over here. You know, the thingy. That thingy. And then we have another thingy. We'll take that and go sell it right away. And more nanites. Okay. Ooh, mining beam module. Fantastic, a superior mining beam module. Um, there's some navigation data right there. Uh, let's look at that. Okay, so install. And we're going to have to... Yeah, let's put that there. Right, yeah, we want to put it next to this. So this gives us 41% heat dissipation, 21% fuel efficiency, less 60% heat over time, and 60% mining speed. That is a nice, nice upgrade. We will take it. Yes, indeed. All right, cool. As I am fond of saying, that was worth the price of admission. Okay, let's get some nanites out of here. Restore shield? Sure, why not? Okay, guys, so um, let's make the antimatter that we need to repair the these guys. So we have two of those, each requiring three antimatter. So can I make six of these? Yes. Good. Okay, we'll go here and we'll repair that. And we'll go here and we will repair that. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, I want to make... Uh, we need some warp fuel too because we're completely out of warp fuel. So how many more... Uh, well, first of all, is there anything else that needs chromatic metal? I don't think so. That's the active copper... 
that's already repaired with chromatic metal so we don't need to worry about that okay so let's just go ahead then and turn uh, well and it's carbon how many more of these can we make I guess is the question only the one okay uh, can we make the housing yeah okay and now let's make the fuel and put that in there that only gives us 17 percent fuel okay so what are we short I think we're short carbon yeah condensed carbon okay that'll be easy enough to farm up all right what we're gonna do now is we are gonna mix it up with the sentinels so I can get some of that pugnium stuff and I think what happened what we can do is we can aggravate them and then duck in the building and then they'll de-aggro after a, a certain period of time do we go in this building here yeah we did do we go in the other building Yes, we did. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and get our bolt caster out and shoot this bastard. Okay. Uh, do we have to shoot that? Oh, boy. Did we? Oh, we did get it. Okay, Pugnium. I, I think we just have to shoot the can after it falls on the ground. Okay. There we go. And now that now they bugger off, or they de I should say. Except for we've got the more powerful ones here now. So I think what we want to do is let them. Let them take off. Let's go see if we can do any repairs with the bit that we did get, and then we'll wash, rinse, and repeat as needed. Okay, so you... Oh, we need 25 to repair that. Okay, so that means we need 50 to repair that, 75 for that. We Oh, we have... Oh, I don't have enough paraphidium. Okay, we're going to have... Oh, shoot. I thought I had a, already done all the paraphidium, but I guess I didn't. Oh, we can repair this one. Okay. Good. Okay. So we got that one done anyway. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to wash, rinse, repeat um, until we get enough pugnium to do all these repairs. So we just need to find another baby sentinel because they're the easiest ones to take out. We could maybe try and shoot the bigger ones. He's still hanging out over there. Oh, we need to reload. Okay. Oh, the pug the pugnium actually came into our inventory. Okay. in here. Whoop! In here! Suppression level 2. Okay, we got, we got 55 Pugnium out of that deal. Um, am I at full health and shield? Yeah, let's poke our head out. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> we got we got 14 pugnium out of that one.
I know this is a little cheesy McSqueezy, but <laughs> we've got we've got low end equipment for this kind of thing right now, so we got to do what we got to do to survive, baby. That's how I justify it. Sentinel searching. Oh, hi. He can't get to us. Sucks to be him. Inventory's full, eh? Okay, we got 107. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let things die down now. Okay, they just deactivated. Hi guys! Move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, will they get mad if I shoot this? Oh, that's ammo! Oh, right, 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 okay. That's not uh, the Pugnium, that's ammo. I, I, I forgot, now I remembered. Okay, let's hop in here. All right, so one of these, yeah, that only requires 10, so let's do that one. And that requires 10. And that's the activated copper thingy. Excuse me, this requires 25. This requires 25. And this requires 25. Look at that, man. All right. So we have... We only have three more slots that we have to repair in the ship. We can't do this one until we can come across chlorine. And we can't do these until we can come across activated copper. But um, this is great because... We are, we have a lot of room in our ship now. I'm not using, gonna use these star charts until we get to the planet that I wanna live on. Uh, or at least not, you know, the settlement chart and the outpost chart for sure. Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get there. Okay, this, um, this is the one that needs more paraffinium. And again, this one needs the activated copper. So um, let's get this taken care of. There's a couple things I'm going to sell here. We, did we check to see if there was chlorine in here? I don't remember if we did or not. We probably did. No, there is. Oh! We can buy paraffinium. Perfect. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Um, but let's sell. I don't want to sell any of that. Uh, let's sell this. And then um, in the starship, uh, we'll sell the silver. And I don't think we need any more of that for now, so we'll sell that. Uh, all right. We are just about done, ladies and gentlemen, with repairing our ship. Well, as far as we can repair it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to farm up a little bit of carbon so that we can make some more warp fuel. Then we're gonna run over to the planet that has the paraffinium and grab that really quick and repair that last part and then we will be ready to leave this system. But I think I will do all of that off camera so we will start the next episode with the jump into the next system and we'll continue um, alone amidst the stars, the main storyline. So everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, you're awesome. <laughs> Okay, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.